Hi, this is Julie Harlan. Please visit my website at yourmathcal.com where I organize my videos by topic. A fraction that contains one or more fractions in either its numerator or denominator, denominator or both is called a complex fraction. Below are five examples of complex fractions. Um, complex fractions are not in simplified form and there are two common methods for simplifying a complex fraction. In the first method, both the numerator and denominator need to be written as single fractions and then you can multiply the numerator the re by the reciprocal of the denominator. In my example, the very first one is in that form, so method one works very well for that. For the rest of them, method two is actually easier for most people. You multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the least common multiple of all the denominators of fractions in the numerator and denominator, and this eliminates the complex fraction in the first step. All right, we're going to do these two examples using method two. So for the first one, we're looking to see um, what the least common denominator is, and there's only one denominator, and it's x. So that is the least common denominator. So we want to multiply both the numerator and denominator by x. Remember, that's like multiplying by 1. And by the way, if you look at the second one down here, I have the same thing. There's only one fraction, and the denominator is x. So when I do this problem, I'm also going to multiply by x over x. All right, so try putting the video on pause and see if you could finish it from here. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to do the distributive property in the numerator, x times 4 over x minus x times 5. Now, you could write it as x times 5 or 5 times x, right? Because that's the commutative property of multiplication. And in the denominator, I have just x times 6. I'm just going to write that as 6x. Okay, so remember the reason we multiply by the least common uh, denominator is so these will cancel. That's what's cool about method two. You get rid of your complex fraction right after you do the distributive property. So I have four minus five x over six x, and that's our answer. Remember you can't cancel because four minus five x is an entire quantity. It's Four is not a factor. You can't cancel with a six. And x oh, is not a factor in the numerator, so that can't cancel as well. All right, try the second problem on your own. Put it on video on pause and then come back. All right, let's do the same thing. x times two is just two x. Let's see if we could do this without the middle step. See if you could do it in your head. What's x times three? That's three x. Now what happens when you multiply x times 8 over x? Can you see what's going to happen when you multiply x times 8 over x? Those x's are going to cancel, so you're going to get plus 8. And there's your answer. <laughs> 